Prince Charles has opened two new whisky industry businesses in Murray. His Royal Highness opened a pioneering energy plant which uses distillery byproducts to generate electricity and a brand new bottling plant. Here's Nicola McCallie. Green for go. Prince Charles presses the button to start production at Glen Grant's brand new bottling plant in Rothes. The distillery was founded in 1840 and is the only Speyside distillery to manage its product from barley to bottle. It's been a huge change to Glen Grant because there's, uh, as well as the extra employment to the area, we are now in complete control from the process of making the whisky to bottling it to the consumer. So from the barley right through to the bottle, we are in total control. Earlier, the Duke of Rossi opened the Helios Cordae Biomass Combined Heat and Power Plant in the village. In a UK first, it will use biomass waste from nearby malt whisky distilleries to generate enough electricity to power 9,000 homes. We're replacing a plant that's 40 years old that served the distilling industry for well, over 100 years. There's been an animal factory here and we're still producing animal feed, uh, an equivalent amount, about 40, 45,000 tonnes of hot ale syrup. The two new facilities shadow something of a second coming for whisky in Murray. Today also saw Murray Council approve a major new distillery to be built at Carron in Speyside by Chivas, as well as new warehousing at Glenfiddich. The Scotch Whisky Association says the spirit continues to grow across the globe. We are finding new markets. I myself have just come back from a visit to Peru, Ecuador and Colombia. There we're going to be getting a uh, probably tripling our actual demand in the next three years. Those are our new markets. That's the great excitement we've got. Scotland's whisky sector is worth an amazing £135 a second. And this new bottling plant is helping the spirit get from producer to buyer even more quickly, helping the industry go from strength to strength. Nicola McCallie, STV News, in Rothes.